What is up, my XRP brothers from another mother and my cute XRP sisters? This is Rob with the XRP 007 channel coming to you from beautiful Venice Island. Another gorgeous day down at the beach, five out of five. And the title of this episode is The World Will Not Wait for SEC, Neither Will Ripple and XRP. Here is why $100 XRP is inevitable. Almost sounds like a Bond movie. The world will not wait. Right? <laughs> so. Um, you know, we got a three day, I've uh, got a long weekend um, ahead of us because uh, Monday is Martin Luther King Day, so there will be no trading. And it's pretty much going to be lackluster with retail, so not much to move uh, this asset class in one way or the other. Um, but we do have a lot of news to dig into. And when the FUD hits you, by the way, remember that by the end of 2024, every single bank in Japan will be using XRP. Uh, thank you, by the way. We're only about 600 subs away from that beautiful 10,000. So exciting to see as we ramp up in our volume here. So indeed, if you are new to this channel, if you would, hit the subscribe button to subscribe, the bell for notification, that like button, tap it, slap it, whatever you are feeling for Saturday, and let's just get right down into it. Shout out to John, by the way. Uh, congrats, and thank you for sending me a picture of you with your beautiful XRP Cabernet Sauvignon bottle. Uh, that was really great to see. Put a smile on my face first thing this morning. Also in the comments, Phil Murphy started watching this channel. When he started to watch, he had 5,000 XRP. He says, as of today, he stands at over six digits. Congratulations. What a great success story. I always tell everybody, even, you know, whether in the comments or I'm on the phone with them, I said, no matter how small your bag is or feels, just keep chipping away at it. Not financial advice. And you'll wake up and go, wow, how did that happen? I know that's happened to me a couple of times. Pinch me. Uh, and so, and, and every time I accumulate one XRP, I see it at the bare minimums as $100. Uh, short term, $10, you know? So it's like some of it, it's like, yeah, I'll be taken out of that $10 range uh, when, when we get into our stride with the bull run, which will be happening. We are actually about six months into this bull run already. Don't believe it is true. And the average uh, a bull run, for XRP is about 13 months. So that leaves about another seven months till we reach the height, if you go by that average. Uh, pretty long the first time around, then the, uh, in 2021 it was shortened. So the 2021, you throw that out the window. So it may be like 16 months is more accurate what happened in 2017. So if we're six months into it, so that means that we will end and hit our top at 10 months from now. That would be yesterday's beautiful $300. And thank you, Todd, my brother from another mother, who actually did the math on it last night and said he threw in a couple of uh, numbers in terms of uh, what XRP will be moving, or anticipated being moving by then. He says, guess what? Kind of works out that number. Came really close to that $333. Uh, how many people subject to fiat debasement going on around the world? I'm not sure if I mentioned this yesterday. Can you say $8 billion? We all suffer from fiat debasement, with it's the less and less uh, purchasing power. And when you see that happening, combined that when we have more banks to collapse, uh, where is flight to safety and quality? People are seeing Bitcoin as that flight to safety and also digital assets. And one of the reasons why is because it's, it's a lot more liquid than an, like an IRA or other things that's hard to kind of get your money out. So you can put it in there and you can take it out if you need it right away. Uh, Trumer, by the way, I was talking about how JP Morgan was in the news that, that, that they had quietly filed for bankruptcy or that they were going to announce that they were on January 23rd. That may just be a, a rumor in the Trumer mill. So I'm not sure there's any validity to that. XRP VRA over on Twitter has these dates to watch. We don't have to wait for them very long here either. It's January 17th through January 23rd. Very interesting. I'm going to keep an eye on those. I'm going to stick that one right up there. Uh, no Todd report, but Todd did report last night <laughs> that he happened to be, because on yesterday's video, I was saying, if you're feeling blessed, comment down 77 below. And I said, you know, we're getting close to 777 likes. Well, guess what? Todd and his lovely wife, Todd was like number 777, and his lovely wife was 778. Uh, that was awesome. I felt like that was fate and look forward to meeting you both. I really do. Uh, uh, go um, on Twitter. Uh, someone was commenting about going green. They said that they were in favor of it, uh, wanting everything to be electric as long as they could start with the border wall first. 
<laughs> so you got to love it. Um, my financial advisor, once again, David Schwartz is up to his old shenanigans, as we'll be getting close to um, after we get past uh, Valentine's Day, then we'll be moving into the luck of the Irish. Uh, it says, uh, flip the switch, and he's got a picture of a circuit breaker with the number 20 on it. So, uh, is that implied that something might happen January 20th, which happens to be sandwiched right in the middle of those three dates? Not long to find out. Larry Fink, by the way, uh, this was juicy. Um, he was in an interview with our good buddy, Charlie Gasparino. Oh, how we love Charlie, right? Uh, and he answered him. He says, uh, asked Larry Fink of BlackRock directly, will there be a BlackRock ETF? And which Larry Fink replied, you know I can't answer that. Yeah. Okay. Um, got an itch? Uh, looks like XRP does. It actually glitched last night to $43,000 over on Crypto.com. Now, would that put a little pep in your step if you woke up and saw that one morning? Uh, XRP ETF by April. This is from a popular YouTuber, which I will, re which whom will remain nameless. Uh, says XR XRP ETF guaranteed by April, almost guaranteed. It's kind of a hundred percent. And this YouTuber goes on to say, when his price prediction that we'd see one dollar XRP by February 14th, and he goes on furthermore to say that we'll hit two dollars by April 1st. Comment down below. I want to know what you guys think on that. Crypto University had a nice insight when, when in doubt, zoom out, talking about when the top of Bitcoin will happen in this next bull cycle. He says the end of 2024 and at the very max April of 2025. So we got a whole year to like, you know, 15 months uh, that this can last, if not longer, actually. But that's what his chart show. Uh, breaking news, this is from Kenny Nijin up on Twitter, says the Vietnamese finance minister announced working with Vietnamese Central Bank to study uh, cross-border payments using XRP. Just one more piece of that Asian corridor to get fired up along with the Philippines and Thailand and uh, India that we have going with SBI. So Jim Willie, now this gets down to the last bitty juicy nuggets of this episode. This one gets me really fired, and it comes back to the title of this episode, which was, the world will not wait for SEC, neither will Ripple XRP. Here's why $100 is inevitable. This is from Jim Willie, and he's got a great four-minute clip, which was up on Twitter. It says, uh, connecting cables. He's talking about the BRICS nations, that they are connecting cables and are making more progress for BRICS nations in using XRP. And when that happens, my friend, you got to realize um, that does not require an SEC settlement, nor does it require regulations from the United States as well. And keep in mind with the number of countries, I think we've got about 30 applicants in BRICS now that could bring it to a total over 40 and realize that they're making a significant dent in the total amount of money out there in terms of that whole money supply uh, that could easily be... 30% of, of that. And we're talking about black gold, Texas tea, and oil money. So there's your $100 XRP, in my humble opinion, just on this alone, if people are paying for oil using XRP and moving oil uh, and XRP and other goods and services. Okay, um, nice sum up. I got to squeeze this in. I really wanted to have that be last, but um, there is a nice sum up by Zach Rector this morning on where we are in this time frame for the year. He says, institutions ready to go. Uh, they're just waiting for the case to settle. When that happens, he does sheds a little light on it. He says the SEC Ripple case, uh, in my humble opinion, is looking kind of ugly since that last little filing. They wanted to dig down and get 2022, 2023 financials from XRP. And he hints that this may not be resolved until the summer, end of June, when the judge will rule. Ugh. I'm not happy with that. So I'm going to have more to say about that. And then he goes on why the push for automatic market makers. He uh, uh, highlights that half of, of Ripple's on-demand liquidity fees uh, or half of Ripple's on-demand fees uh, uh, and expenses go to fees. 
to market makers having to pay those fees. So when they get automatic market makers, the sooner the better, because that will really save them a ton of money. And there's no time there's no time frame on that as well as um, we get to be the benefactor when that actually goes live and he actually cautions be careful there will be a lot of scams connected with this and as the percentage we get that is still unknown so for a little I'm gonna just kind of revisit this stuff about keep in mind the BRICS nations it can happen I always have one little favorite saying I say all the time it will happen when you least expect it you are going to wake up I promise you this, in 2024, you are going to wake up in the same moment that we had in June when we got that summary judgment. It's going to happen multiple times in 2024 on multiple events that you're going to wake up and just be absolutely stunned and someone's going to have to peel you off the floor. <laughs> and for that little worth repeating TA down by the beach, put a smile on everybody's face, put a smile on mine. He says, uh, this was from Aquaflow, it says, uh, March, he's looking at a $9 and uh, $10 XRP by March. Bring it on. I hope that we see that in $15 by December, but I like that $10 target by March. That'd be a great way to start spring. And then uh, this also, this was the moment from the final note is to revisit the Accenture CEO or executive, uh, ex executive says there will be a moment when they all start using XRP and the price will instantly settle and it will be staggering. That'll do it for me, everybody. Everybody have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.